Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. In this video, I'm going to prove the formula for why you could square numbers like 334 or 667 in your head. We'll start out by proving the formula for numbers that start with a string of threes and end in a four. So let's take a number that has n number of threes as its leading digits and the number four. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write that number in a different form. And this number will be one third of 10 to the n plus one plus two thirds. So for example, if you had the number 34, that would be one third of 100 plus two thirds. And similarly, 334 is one third of a thousand plus two thirds. We want to calculate the square of this number. So on the right hand side we're going to square what's in the parentheses and we end up with three terms. We have 1 9th times 10 to the power of 2n plus 2. We have 4 9 times 10 to the n plus 1 and then we have a final term of 4 9 we're going to write these out in decimal form. So for the number that's blue, if we take 1 ninth of a power of 10, we're going to get a string of ones. In fact, we're going to get 2n plus 2 ones, and we're going to get 1 ninth extra. So for example, if you have 100 times 1 ninth, that will be 11 point one 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 which is plus one ninth so the blue term turns out to be a string of ones two n plus two of them plus one ninth we can do the same thing for the green term when we take four ninth of a power of one we're going to end up with that many number of fours plus we're going to end up with four ninths and finally we just copy over the four ninths term so we now want to add up all these numbers together. And when we do that, we get exactly the formula that we want. This number is going to start out with the leading digits being 1, and there will be n plus 1 of them. Then when we add the digits 4 and 1 together, we get 5. And we're going to end up with n of those. And the units digit will be 6 because we need to add up the fractions of 1 ninth, 4 ninth, and 4 ninths together. So that becomes 1, and we add to the 1 and the 4. So we prove the formula works. We can similarly prove the formula works for a number that starts with a string of 6s and ends in a 7. I am not going to go through the steps in detail, but it's basically the same process, that you write it out in terms of fractions, and you collect the leading digits, and you're going to end up proving this pattern is correct. A final question I'll ask in this video is, these are interesting formulas, but is there any mathematical importance to them? By way of history, these formulas came about at a problem-solving session from Donald Knuth at Stanford in 1985. He had posed a question of which numbers, x and x squared, are there where the digits in both x and x squared are non-decreasing. So these particular numbers, we clearly have digits in, in the numbers and their squares which are non-decreasing. And furthermore, since the pattern holds however many number of threes we have, or however many number of sixes, we've proved that we can produce an infinite number of numbers where x and x squared are non-decreasing. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, or on Twitter at Presh Talwalker.